Hey, Shalom. Shalom. It's your brother, Iwataza. Uh -huh. Back at you again with another quick lesson, you know, in transit. You know, Lord willing to edify to the point. Before we get started, we're going to give infinite honors, glory, and prayers to the Most High and the Son. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakaq with us. The honest our apostles and elders of GMS will rule well. Teaching this truth 100% no cut. Double Shalom and Sergei Shadak and pushing his word across the four winds in true faith and sincerity, giving all diligence. You know, basically like a lamb back off the video we did yesterday, you know, about, uh, you know, sedition, you know, coming into the town like uh, Elder Apostle to all, you know, deemed this year, you know, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And as we a repetition, you know, is the father of the skill of learning, man. All right. And we, we seeing, you know, the mindset of Jake. Okay. Jake is, is, is steady, you know, going downhill. Okay. Jake's in the world. You know, all Jake want to talk about is, you know, a uh, person left ruts in the yard. They're going to pay them $50, you know, for, for, for the inconvenience. And they're going to use that $50 to, to, to get a quarter sack of weed. You know, this is the, the, the mindset of Jake. You know, with all these things going on, okay, Jake supposed to be uh, what they call it, a woke, fake woke. You know, talking about, you know, uh, the industry, how they sacrifice people. You know, Jake know these things, uh, how, how Russia is gearing up. Jake know the little smaller uh, uh, in the windows. Okay, but when it comes down to, you know, actually changing up their mindset, considering knowing these things are about to happen, knowing that America is going down the drain. Okay, what are you to be doing? Okay, to get yourself together, man. Okay, to, to, to survive this, man. And though it be told, starting with our elders and apostles of GMS, okay, for 30 plus years, though it's been told, you know, Jake come across the, 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 the men of the Lord. Hey, man, Jake still don't want to get right, man. Jake stuck on stupid, man. Okay, Jake just stuck on stupid, can't get past it, man. Okay, Jake will sound deep, you know, and sit there and try and have a deep conversation, but it's like it's nothing back there, there's nothing behind it. It's just Jake running their fucking mouth. Next thing you know, they putting a cigarette up to their mouth or talking about committing adultery, going in their homeboy phone, finding one of his little freaks' uh, 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 numbers and, and, and stealing them. This is the shit that we put up with with Jake, man. This is the shit the Lord put up with these rebellious-ass niggas, man. Okay, and it's wicked, man. And it's vexing to the spirit, man. So that's why the Lord got to reset these niggas, man. That's why the Lord got to do a house cleaning, man. Okay. All right. From the men that know that they're Israelites to the, you know, that, that that's teaching his word. But it not in not in truth and sincerity. As well as these two-third ass, knucklehead ass niggas, man. Okay. The Lord has to clean Israel up, man. Okay. You got it, bro. You see you got the precept? Yeah, I got it. You got it. This is second answer is 16 and verse 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. Right. But we're not in that that, that woe spirit. You know, because as long as we, we understand, we understand this prophecy. We understand what we have to do to get salvation. And ultimately, it, it, it ends up being, we, we're chosen from the foundation of the earth, of the elect, man. So all we got to do is keep moving forth in this ministry and truth and sincerity through faith and faith. And Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and we'll get delivered. That's our hope. That's our faith. The scriptures say we're prisoners of hope, man. Okay? So we know Yahweh, if we continue on this path that the Lord has laid out for us, we know Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, okay, it's going to deliver us. You got it? The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. Right. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Right. What shall we do when these evils shall come? Be circumspect. Matter of fact, get Ephesians, uh, the fifth chapter. Start at like uh, 15. Bible show. It's Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15. It's, <coughs> excuse me, it says, See then that ye walk circumspectly. Right. Not as fools, right. but as wise. But as uh, as wise, man. Okay. And, and and hold that right there up and get uh, get uh, uh, Proverbs uh, to 22 and verse 3, I believe it is. This is Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 3. Right. Proverbs 22 and 3, a prudent man foreseeth the evil right. and hideth himself, right. but the simple pass on and are punished. And the simple, the fools, the simple pass on and are punished, man. How we hide ourselves, man? Get uh, Proverbs 18 and 10, okay, in the name of the Lord, man. Okay, and with, with calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it comes a work, a diligent, a diligent work, man. Diligent effort in truth and sincerity through right. faith and filth. Okay, so you can't just know the Lord's name. Heavenly Father name and His Son name and that's just it. Not the end all be all. No, you have to show your. You have to uh, be worthy of the vocation, the job that the Lord has laid upon you, given you, man. 
So you have to teach this word and truth and sincerity, man, and give diligence to the best of your ability to make your call and election sure. Put on as the elect, man. All right, you got it. Go ahead, all. It's Proverbs chapter 18, verse 13, uh, verse 10. The name of the Lord, Yahweh, is a strong tower. Right. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. And the righteous runneth into it and into safe, man, and, and are safe. Salaki. And that's the elect, man. Okay, the elect are going to be good in these upcoming times, man. Okay, matter of fact, get Jeremiah 30 and 7, Bob Shop. All right, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. And it reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Right, it's gonna, nothing, nothing is going to be like the times that we're entering into, man. Okay, nothing. Okay, anything that what was recorded in history, what the men of old went through, is going to be way worse these times, man. Okay, when that's when the Lord brings that sedition. Okay, when that silver unrest. Okay, martial law. All right, for wild beasts, newly created beasts. Okay, the Lord sent those deaf angels. Matter of fact, hold that, hold that. Grab uh, Psalms. Uh, I think it's a uh, seventy-eight. Psalm seventy-eight, forty-nine. The Lord gonna plague this place. As he did the modern Egypt, aka America, aka Babylon the Great, the Lord gonna play it the same way he did ancient Egypt, man. Okay, the same way, but worse. Okay, worse, ten a thousand times worse, man. Okay, you got it. Go ahead. This up. is Psalms chapter seventy-eight, verse forty-nine. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, right? Wrath and indignation. Right. Just going into the time of of, of when we was getting in, in Egypt, man. What the Lord did to those Egyptians, man. Okay, but we can liken that unto this time what the Lord is about to do, man. Okay, strange apparitions, demons. Okay, demons possessing people, having them slaughter people, man. Judging people. Okay, these animals. The Lord putting the spirit on these animals to, to slaughter people, man. Okay, some some uh, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy shit happening, man. This is all in store. This is all reserved for the wicked, man. Okay, and rightfully so because man, these niggas need to be cleansed, man, and they won't receive. The, the, this engrafted word, okay, the, the 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 washing of this word, man, which is able to save the soul, roughly paraphrase, okay, they won't receive this word, man. All right, so what else is left for them, man? Death, okay, the sword, man, okay, death by pain. All right, go ahead, up. In trouble by sending evil angels among them. Right, by sending evil angels, demons, okay. That's what's about to happen to AKA America, AKA Babylon the Great, man. Okay. That's what's about to happen again, man. We see it on the small level how the Lord putting these spirits on these people to judge these people, man. Okay, you got mothers killing their children, stuffing them in the goddamn refrigerator, letting their other children slap them and put them back in the refrigerator and having no remorse behind it. Okay, you got you got uh, old uh, men, men uh, beating the shit out their aunties and shit because they ain't put them in the wheel. Okay, you got a lot of crazy shit going on, man. People getting crushed by fucking pipes. Okay. A, a lot of shit going on. You got Jake recording, man. Mm -hmm. All right, entertainment. That's all Jake is is, is, is programmed to to, to 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 receive is fucking entertainment, man. To be entertained, to have something to talk about. Okay, that 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 don't amount to anything, man. You got it, bro. That was it on that. Uh uh, they got they got this this uh, hit on verse fifty. He made it way to his anger. He spared not their soul from death. Right. But gave their life over to, to the pestilence. Right, to the pestilence. And that's coming back. Okay. All these things that, that all the, you read about ancient Egypt, what the Lord did to it, he's about to do it to modern day Egypt way worse. Yep. Okay. The Lord's about to do it way worse. He's about to judge it the same, worse, because he's going to wipe it. Egypt wasn't wiped out, but the Lord is about to turn uh, Babylon the Great, aka America, into uh, the biggest desert on the planet fucking earth, man. Okay, nothing is going to be able to dwell here besides desert creatures, man. Lizards and snakes and shit, man. Okay, uh, uh get finish that Jacob's trouble. Okay, okay. And this was what re re restored in store for you, niggas, man. Okay, go ahead, up. Jeremiah 30, 30 and 7. 7. It's Jeremiah 30 and verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the times of time of Jacob's trouble, right. but he shall be saved out of it. Right, but he, who is that he? The elect of Israel, the elect of Jacob, okay, which is the Israelites that come back to the Heavenly Father, the name of his son, okay, in truth and sincerity, man. 
All right, so we ain't got to worry. Lord willing, we have that elect number. We don't have to worry about these things as long as we continue to be obedient to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. But the rest of these niggas, man, we only got a little bit of time to, 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 to put up with these motherfuckers, man. Okay, to, to tolerate them. Okay, and a lot of jakes and a lot of people we tolerate because it, it, it's our job. We know if we say the wrong thing to them, they're going to go uh, tell us and we get, end up getting fired or getting getting into it with them. And then it go all the way left. You have to put hands on Jake or, or whatever, whoever you're working with. Okay, so we got to just, we got to just, they be wise as serpents, harmless as doves, man. We got to apply wisdom, man. Okay, be slow to anger. Okay, be slow to anger. Meditate, man. Refer back to the precepts, to the scriptures, man. Okay, if you got to, call a brother real quick to talk to him, man. It'll brighten your day, trust me. Okay, well, trust your Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, Salaki. All right, uh, you had something? Uh, Get that. You, you had something? Uh-uh, you want to finish uh, first, uh, Get that. Get First Thessalonians uh, 1 and 6, Bible Shah. Right. This is 1 Thessalonians 1, verse 6. And ye became followers of... Uh, what is it? Uh, I think it's 2 Thessalonians? I think it's yeah, 2 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High. Is it? Yeah. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Right. It is a righteous thing, man. So all we got to do is just wait on your by Shem Yahweh Shout. Wait on the extraction, man. And the Lord is going to pay back these niggas. Okay. As well as mainly Esau, Edom, and these niggas, man, that give us trouble, man. Okay, that vex our souls, man. The, the conversations of the fucking wicked, man. That we got to deal with, man, on the job. Okay? And that shit vexing. You got to put up with a nigga 10 hours of the day, man. Listening to the, the, the filthy-ass fucking conversation that Jake got them to come up with and talk about. Like, as if you want to hear, you can't... You ignore Jake, and Jake still run their fucking mouth, man. Like, Jake, you, man, the Lord got to destroy these niggas, man. And rightfully so, man. Rightfully so, man. Okay? You can visualize how these man, how these niggas was in the ancient times just off how they are now. Way worse. Okay? That's why the Lord is going to do them way worse than what he ever done them, man. Okay? And rightfully so. You got something? Yeah, I got a precept for you. This is, uh, this is, uh, Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, Yahweh. Until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Right, and it's mainly talking about Babylon the Great, aka America, man. So all we gotta do is just wait on the Lord, man. The Lord is gonna deliver us. The Lord is gonna show us the reward of the wicked, man. Okay, and the Lord is gonna allow his men, Lord willing, we have that elect number. So when our pops and elders on down to us, younger brothers, the Lord is going to allow us to take vengeance when he returned. Okay, when he returned, man. Okay, you got some brothers that's going to get spiritual power before the Lord returned, and that's going to be able to execute the Lord's judgment. Okay? But in the meantime, we we to wait on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, for the Lord to rise up to the prey, man. Okay? For the Lord to to, to, to deliver, okay, uh, the elect, us, the elect. Lord willing, we have that elect number, man. Okay, and destroy the wicked, man. All right. Matter of fact, give me um, Bible Kusha, uh Amos nine and, and eight. This Amos chapter nine, verse eight. Mm -hmm. um, it says, "Behold, the eyes of the Lord, the Lord Yahweh, are upon the sin, the sinful kingdom. Right. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And that's what the Lord is about to do to to Babylon the Great, man. To Esau, Edom. Okay." Babylon, the great two-thirds of our people, man, the Lord about to destroy the wicked, man. Okay, and, and, and about to cremate, cremate America. Okay, <laughs> you got it, bro. Keep going. It says, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. Right, but the Lord, that, that's the elect. That's the, the one that should be saved out of it, man. But he shall be saved out of it. That's the elect of Jacob, the elect of Israel. God. For uh, verse 9, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Right, so the Lord is going to gather, he's going to send his angels pursuant to uh, Matthew the 24th chapter to gather his elect, man. Okay, in the time of this, 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 this reaping, this destruction, man. Okay, like we always say, the Lord is coming back to do two things deliver the elect and destroy the wicked. 
And that considers two thirds of our people that's joined hand in hand with the wicked. You got it, bro. It says, uh, Uh, you, you can finish it off. It says, like as corn is sifted in the sea, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. All the, the sinners of the Lord people shall die by the sword. That's two thirds of our people, man. And though it be told to you, you got Jake mock and scoff at us like we crazy. But no, the Lord has revealed, given his spirit, the Rakak Wadash revealed his spirit unto us to go out there and, 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 and give, matter of fact, to give them warning of the Lord, man. Get uh get Ezekiel 3 and 17, Bible Shop. Matter of fact, before you get Ezekiel uh 3 and 17, get Amos uh uh 3 uh and, and 7, Bible Shop. Amos 3 and 7. Yeah. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Right, he revealeth his secrets unto the servants, the prophets, man. Okay, so the Lord has given us the spirit to go out there and prophesy, man. Okay, to go out there and, and give them warning of the Lord, man. All right, and that's our job. As long as we're doing our job, hey, to hell with two-thirds of our people that, that, that don't want to listen, man. Okay, that don't believe. Okay, that mock and scoff. All right, and make mer uh, 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 mockery of us, man. All right, you got it, bro. Get that uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel 3, 3 and 17, 17. Bible shop. It's Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17 Son of man I have, I have made thee a watchman Unto the house of Israel yep. Therefore hear the word at my mouth yep. And give them warning from me And give them warning from the Lord man. And that's what we do Start when our apostles and elders on down To us younger brothers man Okay we give you warning Okay that's our job To wash the blood off our hands Because we know better We've been sent out Okay to what to prophesy Okay, to preach the gospel, to preach the, uh, the, the the return of the Lord, man. All right, and what comes with it? Deliverance and destruction. All right, the deliverance is only for the elect of Israel. The destruction is for everyone else outside of the elect of Israel, man. And let you know that the, 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 the Lord is, is, is going to enslave these nations, these heathen nations. Letting you know, don't take the MOTB, okay, what, which is talked about in uh, Revelation 13 chapter. We ought to let you know these things, man. That was basically it, unless you had some. Hey, and with that, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the point. We're going to end it giving infinite honors, glory, and prayers to the Most High and His Son. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakak with us. Double honors to our apostles and elders of GMS who rule well, teach the truth 100%, no cut, double shallow warm, say, take shut up and push this word across the four winds and truth, faith, and sincerity. Hey, quam the elect, Yahshallah. Quam Yahshallah. Hey, shallow warm.